Hi, this is Brooke. I've got a Kenny Wayne Shepherd signature model Stratocaster here. Um, seems like a regular 60s style Strat. It's got a Kenny Wayne Shepherd signature on the back of the neck headstock. Made in Mexico. Um, this does include the back cover is there are I often take them off so I can change the strings so uh, this thing's got a nice normal medium good neck Ooh, cool. I like that. It's wired to have a uh, tone control on the bridge pickup. Cool. This has really light strings. These might be sevens. I think these are the uh, Reverend Billy Gibbons signature string, really light. Yeah, the neck feels great. Cool, it's kind of a brown sort of a sunburst, not the no red or yellow in there. I like that. Kind of a slightly green pickguard, slightly aged parchment, other bits of the plastic. Pretty feels like maybe a 9.5 radius, I would estimate. Estimate. Kind of traditional tuners. Made in Mexico, like I say. Uh, it is available if you're interested. Uh, I've got the guitar here, and uh, we could work something out. But basically, I just wanted to show you a cool guitar with a nice feeling neck. One thing about these is they do increase in value as far as like the Fender Signature models. I've had uh, some Joe Strummer Telecasters. Those went way up, way over double. Um, Ingve Malmsteen Strats went way up. I had a, a Johnny Marr Jaguar I sold way too cheap, went up, doubled in price. Uh, I had a DD Ramon P bass, I should have kept that. And a Jimi Hendrix uh, Monterey Strat, I haven't checked on those, but seems like a lot of these signature models do increase in value. Even the uh, Made in Mexico, like the Joe Strummers went pretty, from about $400 up to maybe $1,200. So I guess that's triple. Anyway, I have no idea if these will do that, but um, it's pretty cool, man. If you're interested, let me know. Otherwise, keep rocking.